no coveting. So in dating relationships, God wants us not to covet. Now covet is to desire or lust after something earnestly that's not yours. And interesting that God even mentioned uh, oxen. God mentioned, mentioned that you will lust after somebody else's cow. Because your cow is a little bit skinnier and their cow is fatter and nasty. But we look at today, we don't lust after cows. It's the cars we last, lust after. Somebody else's clothes. Covet means like, oh, I wish I could have it. See what coveting does, my friend, is that coveting leads to comparing and comparing leads to complaining. Write this down. Coveting leads to comparing and comparing leads to complaining. See what happens when you covet after something you compare with how good yours, yours is to how good theirs is and you always recognize that the color of their grass is greener than yours and so after you compare yourself with them you come to the conclusion my grass stinks, my heart, my life stinks, my body is stinks, my career stinks, everything that I have is horrible because somebody else has it better and then you start complaining about what God has given you instead of giving God glory and when you complain about what God's given you you will never take care of it so it will never become better it actually becomes worse instead of watering your grass you're spitting on it why because you looked at your neighbor's grass and your neighbor's grass is green and God says in relationships you cannot covet you cannot covet you cannot compare the only way is this to see somebody's grass greener saying you know what praise God my grass is not as green but I'm gonna get a lot more I'm gonna put some fertilizing in it I'm gonna put some water I'm gonna work on my, my grass and it's gonna be as green as my grass can be it might not be greener than your grass but it's gonna be as green as my grass can be come on somebody you know I struggled with this all my life from the beginning because I compared myself to other people and my relatives you guys, uh, some of you, those of you who are here, you know that, that I struggled. I struggled with that because I compared myself. I looked at my body and my, my grass is not very green. Okay, my, my shirt right now a little bit green. But I did not think that physically I was very green. I looked at other people. I'm like, you know, I'm like, oh man, they're so good looking. And then I would hear a girl, a girl would say, you know, that guy, that guy's fine. I was like, oh. Uh. <laughs> and I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, the grass ain't green at all. It's dry. It's dying. And I grew up literally spitting on my own field despising looking thinking I'm, I'm ugly I'm worthless and see comparing leads to complaining you always complain I'm like God why did you make me like this so I'm walking around stomping on my field and God why I don't have this and I don't have this I did not know that the people I was comparing myself to actually compared themselves to other people and were, did not like themselves either and the other people that they compared themselves to, they did not like themselves either because they compared themselves to another people and the other people compared themselves to another people. So actually everyone in here does not like their field. They stomped on their field because they're comparing to somebody else. Until when we came to America, the revelation of God's word hit me that God created me the way I am. He likes me the way I am and I have to stop looking for the neighbor's color of the grass and say, you know what God, I ain't got nothing on my grass but God, I have water. Let's start watering this body. Let's start you know, getting in shape. Let's start putting some right clothes on. Let's start putting some gel on. Let's take care. Let's be the best that I can be. I may not be Brad Pitt but I can be the best Vladimir Savchuk you're going to ever see in your life. Amen. You may not have a Lamborghini but let that Hyundai be the best Hyundai anybody has ever seen. You may not have a nice car but you can have a Toyota or a Honda. Let that Honda and Toyota be the best thing anybody has ever seen. See the problem with us is this. It's when we have something that somebody else doesn't have. We start despising it. We look at the car. We say you trash little thing. We don't wash it. We throw McDonald's in it. We, we trash it. Why? Because it's worthless. Somebody else has a nice car. And when you get the car somebody else has, you start comparing yourself to somebody else. Listen, God says, stop covering. Stop comparing. Wash your car. Polish those rims. Yes, they're 20 years old. Who gives a rip? When you polish them, they actually look nice. You think you're overweight or you think you're not good looking? Listen, if you could just simply say, you know what, God created me this way. It won't hurt to shed some pounds, but you know what, this is what I got right now. Let's work with what we got. And you start to get on yourself instead of looking like a bag of potatoes. You start to get on yourself. You come back, you will actually look nice. Come on, somebody. I probably didn't step on the wrong thing, but it's okay. Same thing applies to guys. Same thing applies to God. The problem with us is when you think you're worthless and you're nothing and what you got is worthless and nothing, you will treat it with disrespect. You will despise it. And the interesting part, it will never grow. It will never grow. It will never grow. 
when you realize what you got is from God and I don't have time to compare myself to you because you comparing yourself to another person good luck I'm gonna work on what God has given me and this will be the best that you will see amen and then God is grateful you grow in it and how does this happen in the relationship we are in a relationship and you look at somebody else's relationship you're like man oh the relationship is so nice look they they, they they kiss each other in the public they hold hands but you don't know they're at with knife in their house at each other's throat you don't know the plates fly actually in their house they don't fly in yours they fly in theirs they have wings you don't know the relationship see sometimes we can covet somebody else but we don't know actually every person has junk in their trunk so don't covet another person oh they're so spiritual listen you don't know them do not covet and compare yourself to somebody you don't know the best way is to say you know what hey our relationship is not the best right now but this is the only thing we got hey let's work on it let's make this grass okay maybe this grass won't be as green as our neighbors god bless our neighbor okay but let's make this grass as green as we can get amen god gave you that physical body okay your nose is too big your your ears are too big your eyes are too small your dish is too big this is too big listen this is what you got and i don't think god is changing it god doesn't accept anything for plastic surgery that's it and you ain't got money to get one so let's do this let's suck it up let's say god thank you for what you gave me tune it up start working on it and start seeing yourself as god's creation God gave you the talents that you got you can sing don't try to sing but if God has given you something listen work on it improve it even if it makes you look weird that doesn't matter work on your own grass stop complaining and stop looking at your neighbor's grass the reason why your neighbor has a green grass is because he's not looking at your stuff he's working on his grass start working on yours come on somebody amen same thing applies to relationships if your relationship is struggling right now it's in difficult situation listen don't just simply oh but their relationship is so amazing because they worked on it work on yours if your walk with God today looks trashy and you come to pray you're like oh, oh I can't even pray I can't so hard man he could pray she could pray so good man they're so spiritual I wish I could be like that come on stop wishing I say you know what I'm gonna work on my relationship with God okay I might not speak as fast in tongues as Mariana does but I, I can do half fast I can do some tongues okay I can do some praying I may not last in prayer for two hours okay but I can last for 20 minutes I'm gonna be the best spiritual Nazar you can ever see on this earth I'm gonna be the best spiritual Jay you can ever see on this earth stop comparing yourself and honestly start appreciating what God has given you and start watering your own grass for the glory of God come on somebody let's give God an applause okay so if you've been spitting on your own field tonight I'm asking you to repent if you've been looking at yourself and you're saying worthless look at me and all this stuff stop spitting and start watering start watering your own field I'm telling you every single person is beautiful if you see yourself beautiful every person is successful and prosperous if you see yourself you will grow in that if you see yourself worthless exactly that's how you will become and that's exactly the message people send to other people to see you as well some of you are like, I don't like people think I'm not good looking because you don't think you're good looking. When you walk into the room, you send a message. Don't look at me. Why? Because I'm not good looking. It's not that you're good looking or not. It's about what you think. It's what, and not, honestly, you know what you think? You think what the devil thinks instead of thinking what the God thinks. Think about yourself. I'm not speaking but thinking you all this and that. No. It's simply walk around saying, you know what? I am who God says I am. Okay? God never changed my eyes but he changed my heart. And it changed my life now I can tell you I'm not the greatest looking but I'm gonna do the best that I can I'm gonna do the best that I can why because I know who God created me that's it that what matters and same thing for you except if I can do it myself some of you will die in this if God will give you that what I, what I had you will still probably be like a little bomb you say oh, you didn't want to do anything and stuff no snap out of that today in Jesus name rise up you can do this amen you may not have the greatest family stop spitting and start watering